Welcome back to daytime. If you're thinking of using makeup to transform yourself this Halloween, you will want to make sure you protect your skin. You don't want to end up clogging your pores or ooh, getting a rash. Beauty and style expert Michelle Phillips is here <laughs> with some tips to help us all save face. Welcome to daytime. Oh, thank you. I'm still thinking about all that makeup that, you know, this is the time of year where we all become that inner child. You know, it kind of comes out. We want to like dress up and put on all that makeup. And a beard. Yeah, it be, some people do, you know, they put the glue on for the facial hair or the theatrical makeup and then sometimes we even, you know, use the latex mask uh -huh. and we want to make sure that we protect our skin and so that we don't have any reactions. It's really important. Because you don't want to look scarier after you've taken the makeup off, right? Exactly, exactly. Try working with a primer. Put that all over your face before you apply the makeup or even put the latex mask on. That will actually create a barrier between whatever products you're using. Using, um, and your skin. So I use a primer every day actually before putting yeah. on my foundation and it just helps everything go on better. It does, it does. And this particular one hydrates the skin. Ooh. So it's a really, really good product. That's perfect, of right? Perfect, yes, perfect. absolutely. And you can get lots of different types of primers at Sephora. It's okay. a great store to go to. Good. And then Okay, next. You want to make sure when you get done with all the partying that you take the makeup off. And yeah. I know I'm, you know, one of those that gets home and I'm tired and I don't want to deal with washing my face and, you know, just getting all the eye makeup off. And this, you know, in Halloween, we have mm -hmm. so much more that we wear. These are great um, product, uh, little cloths that you can use that you just pull out removes all the makeup, even the eye makeup, and your skin is squeaky clean so you can just go straight to bed. I love those because for the longest time I would just get into bed, full makeup, grab some of those and do my wash my face in bed. Exactly. And I'm sure it moisturized at the same time because my skin felt great after I used yeah, them. Yeah, and a lot of airline stewardesses use these as well. And they look yeah. great. I like that, taking off your makeup in while bed. you're in bed. Yes, <laughs> I do it all the time. And do not look too scary the day after. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Olay um, Eye Illuminator. This is a fantastic product that you can put on underneath your eyes and it hydrates, but it actually illuminates the under eye area so it lightens and brightens and so those dark circles are diminished. What about the puffiness? Puffiness too, and it actually hydrates, so good. that's really, really good. So and if you're not wearing any makeup, you can just throw that on too. I use this every day when I don't wear a concealer. Nice. It's fantastic. I love it. Okay. Redness Relief by DDF. This is a great product that you can use to actually reduce the redness in your skin because a lot of times removing all that makeup and having all those products on your skin that your skin's not used to it will be a very irritate. red, irritating. Right. So, and then last but not least, if you want to go all natural, this is one of my favorite masks, especially this time of year. Most of us have pumpkins around mm -hmm. or pumpkin pie mix, which we're getting ready for with Thanksgiving. Um, I like to take about two teaspoons of pumpkin, either canned or cooked and pureed, mm -hmm. a half a teaspoon of honey, yes, a quarter teaspoon of milk, mix it together, put it all over your face, avoid the eye area, relax. Relax, recharge, restore, renew. Pumpkin has vitamin A and vitamin C in it, which actually is excellent for antioxidants and to heal your skin. Honey as well. And then the milk has a natural alpha hydroxies. And how long do we leave this on our skin? About 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse off and uh, you look a lot better and feel good too. Then just use the rest of the milk for a milk bath. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Michelle Phillips, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, it's great to be here. And thank I'm you. I'm going to get some milk on my face right now. <laughs> Daytime will be right back. Should we use whole milk? Yes, I got whole milk because I thought, well, people get, you know, kind of...